God's beauty is hidden in the simple yet powerful message of the cross. Top of the morning to you. So when we read 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and 2 to learn about who God is, which enables us to love him more deeply, we find out God's plan for us is on purpose, on time, and on point. It is not an accident that God's plan is understated. It serves to keep out those who would try to hijack the plan for their own purposes. For example, God does not call those who are prideful, intelligent, philosophically sound to be his people, for they rely on their own wisdom. Rather, God calls only those willing to believe in the simple message of Christ crucified. This is considered a joke to the world's way of thinking. It just doesn't make sense. But to those being saved, it is God's power manifested here on earth. To the Jews, Jesus crucified is a stumbling block. To the Gentiles, Jesus crucified is utter nonsense. That's the beauty of God's plan. Prideful, self-willed people need not apply unless they repent. Bottom line, mortal man will not brag in God's presence. And that's chapter 1, verse 29. To those who believe, God gives us life in Christ Jesus, whereby Jesus is our salvation, our righteousness, our consecration, making us pure, in our redemption, paying our ransom for the eternal penalty of sin. We only boast in and proudly rejoice and glory in the Lord. Holy Spirit helps us with all this. His power is more important than words. Why? So our faith would rest in the power of God, not the wisdom of men. Chapter 2, verse 5. He helps us know and comprehend the thoughts of God. He helps us appreciate God's gift to us. He teaches and interprets God's spiritual truths, which are seen as folly to non-spiritual men. Thanks to this spirit-led and spirit-filled training, we get the mind of Christ, which is able to hold the thoughts, feelings, and purposes of God's heart. Talk about getting to know God. Thanks to the power of the Holy Spirit, combined with our own humble faith, we get to experience the height, length, depth, and breadth of God's love while simultaneously getting to know Him on a deeper basis. Have a great day. Have a great day.